Hello and welcome to The Spirited Monk. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is liqueurs and liquor. So, what you see on my right hand side are liquor and what you see on my left hand side are liqueurs. What is the difference? So the basic difference is just like in food you have appetizers, in alcohol we have aperitifs. Similarly, after a meal you have desserts and in alcohol what we have is digestives. So the liqueurs that I'm going to be talking about today are basically nothing but sweetened alcohol. They are also flavored, flavored with fruits, herbs, spices, and all the things that you can ever imagine. What you see over here, a whiskey, or a brandy, or a cognac, a gin, these are all liquor. So they come under the category of spirits, and everything else will qualify as a liquor. Even a wine and a beer is a liquor, right? But when you see on this side, these are liqueurs. So all of them will have one thing in common, and that's the presence of sugar. So they will have a certain percentage of sugar which sweetens the liquid and it defines or qualifies it to be called a liqueur. My favorite in the lot, and it's been my all-time favorite since my early days of bartending in 1996, is the Quantro. Now this is one of my favorite liqueurs purely for the fact that it has all the elements to be consumed as a liqueur, so I enjoy it neat after a fine meal or even before a fine meal. And at the same time, I also use it extensively in a lot of my cocktails like the margarita or the sidecar. It does a brilliant job of putting in the flavor and the character of a liqueur. What is the difference? The Quantru, although everybody refers to it as an orange liqueur, I always say there is more than just orange over there. It is the presence of the sweet and the bitter orange. And I also refer to this as probably the longest spirit in the world, in the sense that it has a long lasting, lingering effect that remains within the palate for a really long time, okay? So let me just pour it and show it to you. The other important thing about good liqueurs are that Unlike a, a lot of the other liqueurs, which are, which are mostly cocktail-centric, these are liqueurs that, that can be consumed on its own. Uh, also the presence of high percentage of alcohol. So this one over here has 40% alcohol. So it is at par with any of the spirits over there, okay? And if you look at it, absolutely crystal clear, very strong orange on the nose, clearly qualifies it to be an orange liqueur. And when I taste it, it does the magic, which means the smile on my face. Liqueur, sweet. A lot of us like to stay away from sweet. Despite of the fact that it's a, this is an orange liqueur, when I sip it neat, it does not make it sweet at all. Because two things, there's bitterness and the presence of 40% alcohol. Right, which is not the case with a lot of other liqueurs. That makes it a spirit by itself. So it's a great spirit, orange flavored, and it is probably the finest liqueur that has ever been invented in the world of liqueurs. And also very versatile. So like I said, we use it a lot in cocktails, but today we're going to do a little different with this liqueur. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to a chef who is otherwise a savory chef, but also specializes in desserts. And we're going to see how this liqueur could do magic with the dessert, while I will fix one of my favorite cocktails with the contru, and I'm going to do a contru sour. So let's go. Action. Hi everyone. I'm here today at the Artisan Lab with Chef Nemat, who is a savory chef, but she also makes some wonderful desserts. Yes, I love eating them and I love cooking them also. Okay, great. So what I've got for you is 
a bottle of Contro. Ooh, now yum. this is an interesting orange liqueur. Mm -hmm. And before I say too many things about it, I'm going to sample the liquid with you. So are you good to drink it neat? Yes. Cheers. I love that it's bittersweet. Mm -hmm. It has this lingering taste of orange at the back of my palate. And I love that feeling about it. Like I could have it as a shot also. Also, yeah. yes. It, it definitely is a fine liqueur which goes really well after a fine meal. But I'm sure you would have something interesting for us. I do actually have a couple of interesting ideas. We could always macerate our fresh fruits with it or soak it in fresh fruits with, uh, which are in season right now. But I have something really simple um, which I feel like everyone will have in their kitchen Just that is just dark chocolate mm -hmm. and some whipped cream to make this dense dark chocolate mousse. Should we give it a shot? That sounds yummy already. Should we give it a shot? Sure, absolutely. Let's do it. So here we have some whipped cream. Mm -hmm. We have one cup of whipped cream with us, some a half cup of melted dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need some orange zest. Please could you zest some orange for me? Sure, I will. And here we have some chunky dark chocolates just to throw in inside our mousse. Should I do it there? Yeah. Ooh. Tell me when to stop. I mean, I love orange zest, so I. Happy to put, for you to put as much as you'd like, okay. but I think this is good. What do you think? Wonderful. Looks nice. See, it looks lovely. And now we have some, we need to add, we're going to fold our melted chocolate in this. I'm going to ask you to pour it for me and I'm going to continue folding it. So, let's go. Yummy. Let's add a tablespoon. So when you say tablespoon, how much would that be? Uh, a tea, no, that's a teaspoon. Okay. So a tablespoon is about 15 ml. Okay. So, so it's a 15 ml. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you want to go easy on the liquor, which I would not recommend, you could. But oopsie. You know, if I was not a bartender, hmm? I would have been a pastry chef myself. Really? Hmm. It's all about the right ingredients, the right amalgamation of everything. And you'll get a good product. Whether it's food or whether it's beverage, even even for that matter, desserts or pastries. Right. I think it's the process, and if you understand the process, uh, as you as you you know graduate or as you evolve, correct. As a chef, I think that's what makes it so different. Like in cocktail making, also we talk a lot about recipes, mm -hmm. but it's not the recipe that's more important. It's how well you understand the recipe. Also, sometimes I feel like it's very important. As time goes by, you kind of understand what your result should be. Yeah. You know, that's when I feel like you're at a good stage when before, I mean, I just need to put throw in a few ingredients together and I should know what this is going to taste like. Am I doing a good job? A very good job. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm going to start piping the mousse. Let's garnish this now. Shall I garnish this one? Yes, please. Ooh, lovely. And I also have some um, dried oranges if mm -hmm. you want to play around with. Ooh, I love it. So while this is going to set in the fridge, mm -hmm. I'm going to have a little taste it just so you know what it's going to be like. Okay, and I have this nice long bar spoon that I'm going to use to taste it. Love it. Mmm. Can you feel the contro? Oh, yes. And the chunky chocolate? This is really really yummy and it's super Very. easy it's mm -hmm. something that we don't have to run to the supermarket to get totally you know what has happened to me mm -hmm. while you're making the drink i've been really inspired by this glass number one and of course conju the leek here love that and since you made such a wonderful dessert for me mm -hmm. i'm going to fix you an interesting cocktail which is also my favorite okay. but fix it straight up in a in your glass. Let's do it. Okay. I'm so excited. All right.
Oh, I'm going to fix you a nice, interesting contour sour. Okay. Straight up. First things first, glass on the side. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take a shaker glass okay. and start with the egg white. So mm -hmm. I'm going to separate the egg with the egg white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that trick. Mm -hmm. It's simple I, and easy. It's such a cool trick. And that's my peg measure. Okay. It has a 30 and a 15 mm -hmm. and I'm going to pour a 15 ml measure mm -hmm. of the freshly squeezed lime juice. Mm. Lovely. Again, three ingredient cocktails. So there's egg white lime and finally a double measure, which mm -hmm. is 60 ml of contour in there. I feel like the best part about all of this is that mm -hmm. all one needs is control. Yes. Like everything else should be in their fridge, right? Totally. totally. No one has to run to the supermarket for anything. Nothing. Okay. It's all readily available at home in your kitchen. Exactly. You, could, you can make some interesting cocktails with simple ing ingredients. Yeah. So lots of ice in there. Ooh. And all it needs is a good shake. Okay. Should I? Yes, sure. Yeah. Ooh. Please give me some bartending lessons soon. Sure, sure, sure. Come to Saika and we'll do some interesting things. There. Yes. And finally, I'm just going to strain this off. and use the zest of the orange to finish off the drink. So the Malta is always better. It's always nice because it has a nice thick skin yes. and a lot of citrus in the skin. So the orange oils is something that yeah. really stays on top. Right. So the first few sips is nice and refreshing. Thank you. It's for you. Cheers. Where's Cheers. your, what about you? I'll have a neat. Oh, yum! 10 out of 10? 100%! It makes me calling for more. Like, I just can't stop drinking it. I simply love the smoothness, the texture of this drink. I love how it just, like, the tastes are so balanced in my tongue right now. Like, there's a bit of hint of bitterness, there's sweetness, there's tangy, and the egg white frothness is what I love actually. I love egg white in my drinks. I really like the look of the drink in that particular glass. This glass is for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> so guys, we just saw what we did with this versatile liqueur in here. Chef Nemeth actually made some wonderful dessert for us. And I fixed a contrast sour. What do you think, Chef? How was it? I, I loved it. I can't wait to sit and just enjoy my drink. Fantastic. Shall we exchange? Absolutely. So guys, if you enjoyed this particular video, then remember to subscribe Three Bar Stools on YouTube and also follow and like Chef Nemeth at Artisan Lab. Yes. Perfect. Cheers. Yes.